Patagonia. Vast. Spectacular. A fly fisher's nirvana. In this special episode, we explore the majestic rivers and streams, looking for large rainbow and brown trout. This is a place where trout will pounce on your dry flies or streamers. Come join us on our great adventure in the breathtaking beauty of Patagonia. place that has been on my bucket list for a very long time. In every direction you travel, there is outstanding trout fishing and scenery beyond compare. A destination that many say is nirvana for fly fishers who love wild trout and fly fishing on streams and rivers. The trout fishing is exceptional and exceeds any angler's expectations. Trout are not native to Chile and were in fact brought to the country in the early 1900s by European settlers because they discovered that the lakes and rivers of Patagonia held few fish species. Brown and rainbow trout were successfully put in numerous water systems and quickly spread throughout Chile. Today, trout are found in virtually every river and lake in this region and are considered a native species by everyone. That is one of the reasons I'm here to catch the wild trout that inhabit the rivers and streams of this wonderful land. I'm the privileged guest of renowned guide and lodge owner, Francisco Vilchez, who is known to everyone as Poncho. Poncho has fished throughout the world and for a period of time actually guided in Canada. His vast experience combined with a charismatic personality make him the perfect guy to spend a week with exploring the fabled waters of Chilean Patagonia. Our first river journey is a float trip down a local river casting both dry flies and streamers looking for aggressive trout. In the other boat, my good friend Norm Boland joins us. Poncho's asked me to cast to the shoreline and what we're doing, he's got me throwing a, basically a big cone-headed black leech. It's uh, not super big, he likes to start small and then uh, go larger and play with it. But we're smacking against the shoreline. He wants me basically to hit the rocks virtually. And he says the fish are gonna be right there or they're gonna be just on the outside at the drop off. We've moved a couple fish, but right now we still are hunting, looking for that fish that's gonna come streaking out of the shallows, probably a brown. What's interesting is that that fish, Poncho, 
he took when it was like I stripped through and he obviously followed it. So they're not super aggressive because he took it on the pause when I was just getting ready to pick it up. Okay. All right. Uh, we've seen a couple fish move on the streamer and uh, with any luck, things are going to start to change. What I like about this river, and this is what Poncho told me about it before, and it's like a, a lot of rivers here, is that there's great structure to cast to. And if we can get a hatch going or some sort of activity, we can throw grasshoppers and beetles and get them coming up and eating. So it could be really exciting. One of the important aspects of coming to Patagonia is enjoying time with your friends beyond the fun of fishing. Relaxing on the riverbank, eating a great meal, and of course, taking in the beauty of the surrounding landscape. This is truly a very special place, and to enjoy it with good friends makes it even more magical. After an hour of casting both streamers and dry flies without success, Poncho recommended we change things up. He had me switch to a nymphing rig since the trout seemed so lethargic that day. Well, the sun came out and it didn't take long for our luck to change. Well, I've been casting for the last 40 minutes. I've moved, I think, half a dozen smaller brown trout, but neither Poncho or I have seen a single big fish follow chase or hit my fly. So Poncho thinks the best thing, we're not seeing any rising fish right now. So dry flies out of the question, and usually this is a good place for it, as well as the streamers. So we're gonna go to nymphing, because obviously the fish are having their head down right now. They're kind of neutral. We did have a change of weather. It was sunny for the last three or four days, and now it's clouded over. So that sometimes can do that. That's what Poncho was just telling me. So we're gonna try nymphing and see if we can get a fish. All right. So, I had several fish on nymphing. For whatever reasons, I've lost every one, even with these small nymphs. That's just the way it happens sometimes, isn't mm -hmm. it? That's the way it goes, yeah. But you have a nice rainbow there. Okay. You want to net him? Mm -hmm. He's ready. He's ready. He's coming over here. I'll bring him back here. Here he goes. Put him right there. Good stuff. Unlike a traditional lodge, where you usually fish only one river or stream, Poncho likes to take his guests throughout the region every day trying a new fly fishing experience. We love this travel, an opportunity to see the wonders of the region, and of course, sampling the different types of river and stream fishing. Today, Poncho has brought Norm and I to a small stream which has easy walk and wade fishing. As we proceed in, there are grasshoppers everywhere buzzing through the air. Already, I'm getting excited about the prospect of casting small hopper patterns to hungry trout. So we were just moving down the stream, getting into positions, and this little feeder creek, Poncho spotted a nice big brown, probably 14 to 15 inches. And, uh, the winds are cooperating right now, and hopefully I can lay the cast out far enough ahead. There's a smaller trout at the bottom, but what we're hoping is I can get to the other fish without the little fish getting the fly, and I don't touch the weeds on the side, so it's... See how this goes. Go! All right. Good eye there, Poncho. Oh, he's coming down the river. 
He's right here, Pancho. Beautiful little brown. And look how big this creek is, it's so small. Right, first fish of the day. The trout in the rivers have a wide variety of food sources. Of course they will jump on any bait fish that makes the mistake of swimming by. But for fly fishers, it's the topwater food sources that are of the highest interest. Grasshoppers are abundant and a delectable food source for the brown and rainbow trout. The daily high winds blow enough hoppers into the rivers and streams to ensure the trout have lots of opportunities to feed on these terrestrials. Most unique to this region, and an absolute favorite of the trout, are the stag beetles. These massive insects cause explosive surface attacks when they fall into the water. I'll bring him to you right here. All right. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, oh, look at that, beautiful. Good fly, thank you, Francisco. Good man. Nice. <laughs> this is really hard. I've spooked three fish coming up along this willow. Francisco's on the bank giving me guidance. I just got this and there's another riser up here. So I'm hoping I can find another good sized fish. It's a nice rainbow, I think, isn't it? Really, this cold, cold water is gonna revive really easily. There's tall grasses and willow trees that drape over the stream, providing cover to the trout from predators. However, the same cover will make casting challenging for us. One bad cast and you hook a branch, leading to a spook trout. Stealth is the key here, and Poncho makes sure we position ourselves to hide from the trout. Nice. Well, that's the second fish out of the same hole. Fantastic. They're sitting here under the willows. Beautiful. Bring them in. Ah, nicely done, Pancho. All right, so with the, this is the guy we got under the willows, took him on a red humpy, a nice little release back into the stream so someone else can catch him another day. I love this fishing in Chile, and the sun came out today, and now the fish are getting very active, so mwah, beautiful. Let's get another one. Pancho owns a small but lovely lodge with wonderful accommodations located in the heart of Chilean Patagonia. Recently built, this lodge has all the comforts to make your stay memorable, including wonderful food. His cozy lodge is in fact nestled on a hillside on the banks of a wonderful lake that is full of rainbow trout. From here, we base our daily operations 
traveling to various streams and rivers. Oh, big fish. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, you want to he's coming out. It's a rainbow. Here. He's coming down. Uh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what the head just came up and chomped that hopper. I can watch the beautiful, closer. beautiful fish. Yes, baby. That was outstanding. The rods I've brought to Chile to fish the streams and rivers are four to six weights. The ideal lengths are seven and a half to nine foot in various actions based on the size of stream or river we're fishing. The patterns we used on the rivers and streams in Chile were mostly topwater offerings. Poncho likes us to use darker colored hopper patterns that were generally smaller than what we're used to. The same applied to any beetle patterns as well, tied with foam or other buoyant materials. For streamers, we also use mostly dark or black colored patterns, which seem to incite the greatest interest from the trout. Got another one here. This water is proving to be extremely productive. We're taking a lot of fish out of here. I don't know if this is a bigger one or hard to tell at first. Pulling fairly well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good fish. Give me, give me a good run for my money. Uh, another nice rainbow. Oh no, it's brown. Yeah, the browns here are quite, quite colorful. Okay. Where is he? Oh, I got caught up in my fly line. Got him. He's taking fish after fish out of this one run here, just working left to right, one under the willows, one just in the slipstream there in the flow, one in the quiet mirror water there. It's really interesting, just methodically moving up here. Uh, you know, sometimes we move too fast through the water and we're not methodical enough when we miss a lot of fish. We look, we don't see them, we keep going, we keep going, we're walking by fish. So today, we're taking a long time to do this one stretch of water and we're pulling a lot of fish out of here. So it's a good lesson for me to slow down a little bit. Beautiful Dude. fish, Poncho. Beautiful Dude. fish, ready to go back and somebody else can catch him next time. Today, Poncho has brought us to a wonderful lake to fish. Towards the end of the day, he took me to a feeder stream to try our luck for big brown trout. Nice. Now what happened there, Francisco spotted the take. He saw the flash and cued me in because I didn't see the fish, but he did. I saw it after the hit, but oh, but if I hadn't got that cue, and this is where a good guide is so important, I didn't see it in time. And the thing is, there's more fish in here. They're all big. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's a big boy. They're eating emergers, and we're trying to get them to come up for dry. Just could not make it work. OK, so what I'm going to do, Francisco, I'll bring them right in here into this part of the hole. Let's get the line on the reel. OK. All right, we're ready. Yep, you ready? Get his head up. Get his head up. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at the size of him. He's a tank. Look at this guy. Oh, what a sweet fish. Look at that. Right here in the last few hours. 
There Ready to go. go back in that hole, and there he goes. River trip. Poncho took me to a magnificent river that flowed down between the mountains. The view here was nothing short of epic. Poncho had me casting streamers most of the time, trying to entice trout out from undercut banks and cover. However, the winds that day were significant and often caused us problems. Set, set. All right. Came out there and just hammered that fly. <laughs> a little brown. A little brownie. Yeah. enjoyed our incredible trip to Chile and Patagonia to fly fish on their wonderful rivers and streams. Our sincere thanks to Poncho and ChiliTrout.com for hosting us. Thanks for watching and check out our website for more information about Chile and Patagonia. Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. For videos like the one you just saw and more, subscribe to our channel. You don't want to miss our weekly uploads of educational videos, exciting trips, and much more. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Orvis Sporting Traditions.